Good afternoon, and welcome to another episode of Defiant Jeep. Uh, first, you're going to notice that I'm not in my garage today. It is like super hot outside. I, I'm actually here in Nevada, as always. It is a smoldering 106 degrees outside, and it's like super hot. I tried doing this in my garage, but it was like a sauna in there. I just couldn't take it anymore. It, it was just something incredible. But today, we're going to talk about your armor, more specifically about your skid plate system. This request came to me from uh, one of our subscribers, Eric Nix. He is actually my first subscriber to respond with a request, so I am going to comply, and uh, I, I hope this comes out very good for you, Nick. Oh, I'm sorry, Eric. <laughs> um, but that we're, we're going to touch base a little bit about your armor, uh, mostly, like I said, about your skid plate system. Now, normally when we talk about armor, we're talking about or thinking about your, your bumpers, your rock sliders, um, you know, something easy bolt-on, you know, steel fenders. And, and most of these applications are plastic, like, like your front and rear bumpers, they're, they're generally a plastic modular, uh, more so the rear. The front does have some steel in it, but they are plastic uh, as, as they are, with just uh, some brackets that uh, help them stay fastened to where they are. Uh, not every Jeep comes with running boards. Uh, I have a sport model, and so does my wife, and uh, by default from factory, they don't come with running boards at all. Uh, so that you're pretty much left with uh, what am I going to step on uh, to climb into my vehicle and that's why the aftermarket uh, you know side steps or rock sliders are added so the easier climbing capability to get into the vehicle but before we move any further uh, don't forget to subscribe like and share and click that little bell now um, getting to the skid plate system your skid plate system is a completely modular system you can buy it in sections you don't have to buy it as one kit and there's so many manufacturers out there I'm not even gonna name any because there's just so many I mean my own Jeep has a whole system and we're talking everything from you know sway bar or anti sway bar skid engine transmission transfer case um, the evap canister the fuel tank and there's also a muffler uh, skid uh, let's start with the anti sway bar skid plate. It, it's pretty much, you know, as you can see on the image that I'm providing here, it, it, it looks like just another piece of armor that you bolt on. It goes directly under your bumper. And all of these other uh, attachments, they all come with their own brackets and fasteners so you can, you know, make them work. But the uh, anti sway bar skid plate is exactly that to protect your anti sway bar. You have the anti-sway bar that's for your engine and transmission, which is one long piece. This is definitely going to protect your uh, your engine and transmission from all the bumps and scrapes that may happen on the trails. Uh, you know, for bid, you get a rock that uh, punctures your uh, <laughs> your your engine oil pan or your transmission oil pan. You can lose all your fluid, and as ever, we all know that the uh, the oil itself is the life of the engine. Uh, once that's gone, you know, turn off your engine immediately. Don't run it. Get yourself towed out of there and yeah, take it to your local shop to get it repaired as, as fast as you can. You don't ever want to run a, uh, an engine without oil because you, you're just going to do more damage than, than good. Now behind your, um, your transmission, you have your transfer case uh, skid. This is going to protect your transfer case. And yes, your, uh, your, your manufacturer did provide one for you, but it is just a plate. It's not really protective. It, it's, it's minimal. To, to to protect your transfer case, but they don't, that's all they offer. They don't. They never offered one for your engine or your transmission. Uh, behind the, your transfer case, you also have an evap canister. There's a transfer. I'm sorry, a, um, evap canister skid plate that is uh, produced to provide that against bangs and and scrapes and kisses from the rocks. And of course, if you have an unlimited model, which would be a four door, there's also an extension that you can add under there. That, um, that would help, what would be the right way to put it? As a modular system, it would just pretty much make it all a, a complete system, uh, looking very sealed. And of course, on the opposite end, you have your gas tank skid, which we know you, uh, you already have a gas tank skid from the manufacturer, but the additional layer of another gas tank skid on top of that would be added protection to your skid, or your, I'm sorry, your gas tank. Now, uh, all these pieces, as I mentioned earlier, are purchased separately, or you can buy them as a kit. You know, there's a 
e even at the back end there's the uh, skid plate for your muffler a lot of us don't even purchase it for the fact that we relocate our muffler via the uh, either a cat back uh, like a relocation kit now, there are several manufacturers that make a great exhaust system for a Jeep but uh, if uh, you find one that's for let's say a cat back rock crawler it totally eliminates that really large very heavy garbage can of a muffler you have in the back of your Jeep and relocates it to a higher much more uh, secure area where you don't even need the extra weight of the skid plate back there since the, uh, the muffler would be removed or replaced you know along with the um, along with the other skid plates a lot of us don't seem to remember that the lower control arms are hanging actually pretty low you know um, so there are such a thing as lower control arm skid plates which are very helpful this will definitely complement your skid plate system um, and of course adding to the armor of a vehicle you know they're, they actually uh, attach to the bolts or the bolt location of your lower control arms front and rear to protect your um, to protect your equipment from, from the elements uh, of the trail and last but not least we're also going to talk about um, differential covers now, this, now in a sense really we're talking about protection of your differential so it's not necessarily only a cover there's such a thing as a differential skid plate or a cage these are other options if you want to you retain the use of your factory differential cover uh, leaving that alone is fine so long as it's protected alone unprotected this is just a piece of steel you know if uh, you know forbid you're you catch yourself in a, in a bad position where a rock is actually going to grab that differential cover and bend the steel then you're going to lose all your diff fluid that's another situation you don't want to be in so you definitely want to protect your differential both front and rear so of course you have the options of the cage style skid a full skid or just changing the differential cover to uh, one that is designed to protect your differential and those come in a variation of either cast iron or aluminum and, and they're offered by many different manufacturers so many designs and styles but that's something you really want to really you really want to research on that one you know what what the kind of look do you want uh, what material do you want it to be made out of and don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with the aluminum ones but you do need to be careful with those Remember, once aluminum is, uh, is kinked or bent or out of shape, you can't bend it back. It's not like it's steel. It, um, yeah, once it's done, it's done. And so you, you may want to consider that. You know, the, uh, the cast iron ones, yes, they're a bit heavier, but they're well worth the, the little bit of money. They are lesser expensive than the aluminum ones, and they are stronger. They definitely uh, hold their weight in, in, in a beating that they would take. I don't have a lot to offer as far as the uh, skid play system because it, honestly it's a very simple system something to think about you know but if you do have any questions uh, please don't hesitate to ask just leave me a comment I will answer you as fast as I can um, again thank you for call, for visiting uh, Defiant Jeep and don't forget to visit us at uh, DesertWranglers.com and don't forget to subscribe like and share uh, thank you for watching we'll see you soon have a great day